Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Because all the pain has taken its toll. All this pain is simply just too immense. My heart now avoid. My mind filled with loving thoughts that sink into an abyss. Everything I have ever been feels as if it's been destroyed. Everything and everyone that mattered, it feels as if they are it no longer exists. All the light I emitted has been consumed by a darkness that's too great, too deep to retreat. But every day I'm still trying to fight it off, but I am always falling victim to tricks and lies from all the manipulation and all of the decade. How to rid myself of this? It's all I wish. I pray I have the strength to overcome. I pray I don't succumb to the hate and anger. I pray I have the strength to resist this sadness I have been feeling seems strangely the same yet different this time. I can feel something else lurking deeply. It's as if my synapses are misfiring in the depths of my mind. There is a numbness growing inside me, a carelessness I never thought I could possess. And it's all thanks to the woman with whom I thought I loved, but later learned she just loved herself while causing me so much stress. I feel cold, my soul feels old. No longer do I feel remorse for any woman I cross paths with, for this is the third heartbreak has ruined me. No longer will I be a student in love's class. No longer will I continue this course. It started off well and it lasted just shy of six years. We had great chemistry and were each at the point in our lives where it seemed that a committed but separate living arrangement was going to work. And it did for about four and a half of those six years. We did some outstandingly fun things together. Whether it was going to the opera or the art gallery or just going for walks in gardens, it seemed ideal to me and I thought it was for you as well. I had been upfront from the get-go and so when a combination of life events and a change in your expectations occurred, I was caught flat-footed, the rules had changed, you wanted to get married. I said that was not what I wanted or what we had agreed to. From there, the stressors increased as you made some questionable financial decisions and caught yourself in deep and needed a savior. My life also got complicated with a dying parent who needed my help 24 into 5 and I started looking for a suitable reason to end it with as few fireworks as possible. I knew that I wasn't going to marry you. And you wanted a husband who would be your pillar. So I found as good time as I could and dropped off the band aid. I have no idea where things went for you from there. Thanks for watching, please do subscribe.